Lynn Classics. Oh, you gonna make him drop his keys in there? All right, let me go ahead and tell you, we got an event coming up called Pro Street Day. Pro Street Day, Pro Street Day. 148 East Main Street, Youngsville, North Carolina. November 9th, 2024. From 9 o'clock a.m. to 3 o'clock p.m. Pro Street Day. Big tires, big motors. 148 East Main Street, Youngsville, North Carolina. Testament Choice Trophy, Long Distance Trophy. Food truck. Pro Street Day, 148 East Main Street, Youngsville, North Carolina. 
food truck, vendors, you name it. We'll have a parade afterwards. Pro Street Day, 148 East Main Street, Youngsville, North Carolina. Subscribe to Caitlin Classics.
All right, we just want to let you know we have a couple of events coming up. We got the Youngsville Summer Fest, July, 7, July 27th, 2024, 148 East Main Street, Youngsville, North Carolina. Youngsville Summer Fest, 9 o'clock a.m. to 1 o'clock p.m. 50 50 cash drawing, food truck, participant choice trophy, long distance trophy, restroom, plenty of trailer parking, and a plethora of area hotels. Youngsville Summer Fest. 148 East Main Street, Youngsville, North Carolina, July 27, 2024. 148 East Main Street, Youngsville, North Carolina. Youngsville Summerfest, July 27, 2024. 148 East Main Street, Youngsville, North Carolina. July Summerfest, 148 East Main Street, Youngsville, North Carolina. 9 o'clock a.m. to 1 o'clock p.m. 9 o'clock a.m. to 1 o'clock p.m. 55th cash drawing. The drawing will be held at 11.30. Youngsville Summerfest, 148 East Main Street, Youngsville, North Carolina. <laughs> I see it here too. I'm going to show you in a minute. All them guys usually come to my events too.
to Caitlin Classic. Subscribe right now, today. Caitlin Classic. Want to let you know we have an event coming up August the 10th, 2024. We have the Beat the Heat Cruise in 148 East Main Street, Youngsville, North Carolina. The Beat the Heat Cruise, 9 o'clock a.m. to 12 o'clock noon. 148 East Main Street, Youngsville, North Carolina. Beat the Heat. Beat the Heat Cruise in 148 East Main Street, Youngsville, North Carolina. 9 o'clock a.m. to 12 o'clock noon. Participant's Choice Trophy, Long Distance Trophy. Participant's Choice Trophy, Long Distance Trophy. Food truck. We will have food trucks. 148 East Main Street, Youngsville, North Carolina. What's going on?
let me ask you something. race car converted to the street and literally this was the first miles driving here today so uh, 632 1071 blown uh, big block and uh, just gonna have some fun on the street and take it on the track sometime so happy to be here and we'll be at good guys Columbus next uh, next week and uh, debut it there in Columbus good guys okay and um, so you drove it from where I drove it about 25 minutes down the road and uh, down in uh, Raleigh okay uh, to get here so it was great. We made it. We made it good. We pulled in. It was only 195 degrees, which was great. Uh, okay. So it was all good. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah. Now, let's. can we do a walk around? Yeah, please. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, this started as a race car. Yes. It was a uh, complete race car, nitrous car. Um, we tore it all the way down just to actually... This is all. It was all fiberglass except the steel body. Okay. Now we have steel fenders, steel. Uh, so it's all doors. steel. And I, I put uh, the only fiberglass is your trunk and your hood. It's only okay. It's fiberglass. Okay. And what size tires you got on? That the is. Um, those are the thirty-two eighteen fifties uh, ET streets. Thirty-two by eighteen. And I got to remove my water bottle. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. And and, and what what ring you got in here? This is a uh, nine inch Ford. And it's all put here. And built. Uh, this is the big Ford, the original early big Ford. Okay. So it's all braced and what have you. With I think it's Mark Williams third uh, third uh, aluminum center section. And what kind of transmission? That is a uh, turbo four hundred. Uh, it's a strip one, full manual um, with a brake, and then it's got a thirty five hundred stall uh, in in the car. So no overdrive. No overdrive. Okay. Screams. All right. And now let me ask you this. Um, how did you get into Pro Street? So, I mean, it's just the ultimate look. Uh, my father and I were started doing it back in 94. We debuted our first car in a cover of Super Chevy magazine. Okay. And uh, we just started building them ever since then. And okay. even though they might have slowed down a little bit, it seems like they're gaining in popularity again big time. Even the young kids you and I were talking about it. Okay. They love the look. And there's no more aggressive of a look than... Pro Street going down the road or hitting and, the streets. And the sound. Absolutely. Now, are you running mufflers? So this, I, what I did was I TIG welded a resonator inside of this four and a half inch tube uh -huh. with the bullhorns, and it's coming through the custom headers. I got stainless headers. They're two and a quarter inch header uh, primaries. Okay. All right. And how long you had this one? This is brand new. Like I said, literally the first miles on the car, we're driving it here. Okay. And what year? I forgot what year you said. 1967 Nova. 
Now, I don't know how to tell the difference between a 66 and a 67. I'll tell you this right here. Okay. Easiest way, 7s have a forward-leaning pointed headlight. 66s are more straight up and down. Okay. It's really not much of a difference. <laughs> not Anything much. Else is not much, not much. Okay. Yep. I always uh, liked 67 because they had to lean forward that peak. Okay. In the front. Now, what's the difference between a Nova and a Chevy 2? Chevy 2, it's, it's still, these are still a Chevy 2. Okay. So they still okay. call it the same thing. It's okay. Still a Chevy 2. Now, do you happen to have an intercooler on this thing? So, no, that is a spacer. Oh, a spacer. Um, so, yeah, so I put the uh, the spacer on there. Um, the reason why is I needed some clearance, so I had to put a spacer, which got it to the highest of the roof. That's okay. the bad part. But and tell me about good. these carburetors. So, those are, that's the Holly, uh, that's fuel injection. Okay. So modern fuel injection. Um, so, it runs, they sell a dual setup. It's not the Sniper, it's the other one. I can't remember the name. Okay, it. okay. It's actually full computer fuel injection. Looks I, like carburetors. I like the fact that it looks like carburetors. Yes, so it's fuel, fuel It's fuel injected. Looks like a new car. Okay, all righty. And then we got you know their dash, the Pro Dash in it. I saw that, I yeah. saw that. Okay, and I like the fact that you put steel back on this oh, thing. Oh, yeah. All right. Not going for high light. We're going to go, you know, more street. Okay, and like I told you, um, we're having Pro Street Day in on November 9th. The rain date is November 10th. You said you'll be there? I'll be there. Okay, all right. That is nice to know, and it was nice to meet you. East Main Street, Youngville, North Carolina. Pro Street Day, November 9th, 2024. From 9 o'clock a.m. to 3 o'clock p.m. Participants, short stroke. Long distance stroke. Band is Pro Street Stroke. Pro Street Day. 148 East Main Street, Youngville, North Carolina. Okay. All right. So tell me about your business. So... It's called Westcam. We do uh -huh. paper blasting as one of our services. We also specialize in Lotus early Lotus Heritage restoration. So y'all only work on Lotus? 
No, we'll work okay. on we'll work on other we'll vapor blast anything. Okay, all as right. As far as we work on the engines I rebuild are Lotus motors because that's okay. what I know. Okay, well. okay, okay. So for years I tried to find a way to clean aluminum. Mm -hmm. There's there's just no good way. It's like right. a labor of love. You're scrubbing. Right. A lot of cleaners will leave that aluminum looking sort of dark brown, blackish, right? It just doesn't look good. It doesn't have that luster. Did a bunch of research. Vapor got turned on to vapor blasting. It sounded good. I'm, I'm an engineer. I liked what I what I heard. Bought the equipment. Tried it out. Take an old piston like this, which would have taken a long time to clean, right? And to getting getting all the grooves is really difficult. Five minutes in the vapor blaster, you got a brand new piston. Dang. How much you charge to vapor blast a piston? Well, I have a minimum of thirty-five dollars, okay. which is about a half an hour's worth of work. Okay, okay. A piston only takes about ten minutes. Okay. So you could do, you know, a set of four pistons, eight pistons, for like forty bucks. Okay. Okay. Think of all the time you save, not having to labor over with a little brush, brush trying to clean it. All right. Let me come right back. All right. Yeah. I'll be right back. Okay. Everybody thinks Willie's built the version. Vantam built the prototype. It's called the VRC. Vantam okay. Reconnaissance Tower. Okay. So you're going to bring it to our show in October? I'm going to try. All right. From the Roadster to build the first. That was the start of the first Jeep. Okay. They widened it, and then the, all the rest of that was hand built. Okay. Tell me about this windshield wiper. So the windshield wipers are vacuum. When you pull it out, it just sweeps. Really slow. Do you Does give it, it too work? much gas? Yeah, they work. I don't have them hooked up. Oh, right it's now, got it. Okay. All but right. They work. All right. Thanks for telling me about your car.
Oh, sorry about that. Hey Julian, come check out the back. Hey, you gotta come check out the back real quick. The mural on the back. Let's keep it simple. I'm one of the few people out here. I'm the original owner of this. I bought you, it brand new in 90. It's three miles. Danville Toyota. Wow. You're the original owner. Original owner. It's got 200 and 201,000 right now. Okay. Because back then, Toyotas lasted forever, so. Yeah. It's been beefed up. It's got 529 gears. Transmission's been completely rebuilt. It's got a 1,400 pound clutch. Got an LC engineering cam and all in the engine, but the motor is still basically all the original stock engine. Ain't never been pulled out of the truck. But yeah, it was a basic pickup when I bought it. I did change it a little bit. If you don't mind me asking, how much did this thing cost in 1990? Uh, I paid a little over 16000 on the lot. Oh, okay. okay. And uh, I had a guy here. Last time I came here, him and his son told me, he said his son wanted my truck. I laughed at him. And he told me, he said, how much you pay for it new? And I told him, and he said, well, how much you got ready to put in over the years? About the same amount. I said, baby, now you used to have a camper shell with a big stereo in the bed and all. And he told me, he said, well, you probably take 20 for it, wouldn't you? I said, I said if my wife was with me, yes, she probably would. I said, but I, I don't know if I'd, I'd let it go for 20. I just don't know. I, it's not as easy for me to get up into now as it was when I was younger. But every time I drive it, it seems like I get different looks from everybody. So. Because it's different. Yeah, I come in here, I'm not, usually the only old Toyota truck in this place. Mm -hmm. so, I know it ain't no, no super fast street car, but...
right here. Sorry about that.
front of titanium steel. Really? Hey, you the one with the surveyor? Yeah. I want to tell you thanks for coming to our show. I want to tell you thanks yeah. for coming. Yeah, I appreciate you. Hey, hey look, I popped in the wrong spot. Yeah. Today there is no right spot. You right. You right.
Hold for me, hold for me, how you doing? Yeah, right. Okay, yeah, if you if you breathe to me I'll, I'll sit